Good morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well and having a good week this week. Today I have for you a try-on haul. It's from a company called Olivia Mark who got in touch with me. I hadn't heard of them before and I uh, had a look at their website and I thought, yeah, that looks okay. They're not a plus size, an only plus size brand, but they had quite a good plus size section. So I went back to them and I said, yes, I'm happy to go ahead with this. And um, they asked me to choose some things. And then for about three days, the website was down completely. A few days later, I went and looked again and it was like it was a completely different brand. Um, the, the new website isn't great. The plus size section seems to have a very young vibe now, um, which isn't necessarily for me. There was an awful lot less choice in the plus size section and it, it felt quite Photoshop heavy. I'm sure you know what I mean when I say that it felt like um, the photos perhaps weren't true to what the garments would look like when you've done a few of these videos you you get to know the <laughs> the signs you know so I went into this with a little bit of trepidation I felt that as I'd already said I would do the collab um, I should do um, just for informational purposes I am not being paid for this all opinions are as ever my own um, but they did send me a voucher with which to um, purchase the clothing that I'm going to show you today so I went through the website, I chose some items, um, I placed the order and a few days later I had a message saying one of the items I'd chosen wasn't available and here was a choice of two to replace it, which one would I like? So I selected one of the two. I mean when it's only one item that's not available it's forgivable. I've talked before about how I think um, not keeping stock levels up to date is annoying but when it's only one item you know you have to give people a bit of leeway don't you for an error so that was fair enough and um then they sent the clothes i've had them a couple of weeks because obviously i haven't been doing try on videos because um i've been recovering from having my gallbladder removed so this is the first try on video i've done for anyone who has just clicked on this and found me for the first time i am five foot three i am 55 years old i am approximately a uk 22 ish on the top sometimes a 24 depending on the brand and an 18 to 20 on the bottom half um i know at least one of these garments isn't going to fit me i have got um three tops i've got one dress and i've got a skirt and top i want to say suit i'm going to say outfit because suit makes it sound a bit smarter than it actually is so without further ado let us get into right, it we shall start with this which is the item that doesn't fit me um i chose a similar striped sweater to this um, which was sort of an open weave one um similar colors i love the color palette the uh, mint the pale blue and the navy with the white stripe through it but unfortunately despite the fact that this is labeled as a 2xl i would say that is a 14 to 16 uk approximately um certainly very tight around the bottom half the, the shoulder's not quite so bad but the bottom half very tight but i actually quite like the design you know the wide sleeve and the stripes and everything but that is not going to fit me unfortunately so that one better go right moving on i couldn't resist the color of this i hope it's going to come out on camera as pretty as it is in real life green is sometimes difficult to capture on camera um this is a sort of tunic shirt with um a sort of three-quarter sleeve the sleeve is quite odd in that the opening is sort of at the top there can you see that is i've not really come across that before so that's kind of odd but um it's sort of a dip back type affair as well the back is lower than the front and um, it's a cottony fabric which i don't doubt is polyester um yeah 100 percent polyester and hilariously considering the jumper i've just shown you is a 2xl this also is a 2xl <laughs> so sizing could be a little bit of an issue here but i do love the color this is very much my sort of style not it's probably not brilliant for this time of year it's probably more a springtime springtime color isn't it and it's quite lightweight but with a chunky cardi on top might get away with it this time of year let's give it a go right well this is a good start i really like this and um, i kind of see what they've done with the sleeve with the hole on the top rather than at the end now it makes the sleeves feel a bit more balloony is that the word i don't know but i it, it's sort of, I, I really quite like it so when you hold your hands like that you've got a bit more arm showing 
um, and then the sleeve sort of comes down at the back. So I, I quite like that. I think that's quite a nice design, dis can't speak, design feature. Just realised I don't have all the buttons done if it does button all the way down. Is there another one there? Yeah, I've missed one there as well. I'm not doing very well. Um, I like the fact it dips down at the back. I like the loose fit effect. It's got the tears on the back, but just um, sort of straight down on the front. And it just feels really nice. Um, I think you'd need to wear it by itself to get the effect of the um, sleeves and the tearing and everything. So definitely, I think for me, this would be for spring, summer. Um, I can imagine it with a pair of white linen trousers looking really nice on holiday or something. But um, yeah, quite pleased with that one. Next, we have this pink top. I really liked this. It's sort of a pink knit. The back is all knit. And then one of the sleeves is knit. One of the sleeves is leopard print. This is like a jersey type fabric. And then the sort of contrast panel down the front as well. Um, I'm pretty sure this is also, yeah, this is a 2XL. This feels really nice quality. It's got some weight to it, so definitely more a winter weight. I love the V-neck. Um, it looks as though it's going to be a nice loose fit. It looks as though it's going to be not too long, which I like. Um, and I love pink. Pink is one of my favourite colours. I think it's a very flattering colour as well. Oh, I like this one as well. Feels really nice on. It's maybe a little bit big across the shoulders, but I don't think that's a bad thought. I really like the length. It sort of covers my bum but not too long and on our shorties that is a good length um, the sleeves would be a little bit long for me and they are aren't the sort that you can push up so I will have to um, roll them like that but that's okay I'm happy with that um, and it feels a really nice weight for this time of year it's um, not too lightweight which is nice it feels like it's got a little bit more winteriness to us to it and I, I really like it it's a nice everyday top this I can see myself wearing this one a lot next we have a dress went a little bit off piste with this one it's not necessarily what I would pick myself um, or what I would pick generally but as I said there was quite a lot that I didn't feel was suitable for me or I didn't like um, so I thought I'd give this one a go it's sort of a very bold camo print camouflage and it's got a collar but a v-neck the fabric is again polyester it's hasn't got any stretch to it it's um it's quite creasy forgive me i haven't steamed it probably should have done i thought it the creases might have fall out it's been hung up for a week or so but um yeah i probably should have steamed it but um yeah it, it is a creasy fabric and if you don't like that sort of satiny slippy polyester this one might not be for you I don't mind it particularly but um yeah I thought it was quite interesting I'm thinking with black tights and black boots this might look okay for winter this is one of those occasions where I wish I was the type of youtuber who tried everything on before they made the video and only put the bits in the video that they looked all right in because I look absolutely bloody horrendous in this let me tell you but I don't want to be that type of YouTuber. I want to show you all the bad along with the good, as you probably know if you've been here for any length of time. So, yeah, this is what this looks like. It's got pockets which exacerbate the bits around the hips. Um, it's too tight across my bust, so it's pushing my bust down and... Um, Flat, sort of flattening it and pushing it down which is never a good look anyway and particularly not as you get older um it, it does come in at the waist quite nicely but then it comes out with these pockets which don't sit flat inside and make my hips look absolutely bloody huge um the other issue i've got with it is i don't know how well you can see it at that angle but the da the back dips down as i said and you can see the white inside of the fabric um I'm really not sure you can see that. Let me see if I can do an angle where you can see that. I'll probably be too far away. Um, yeah, I think you can probably see it there, that the white underside of the fabric shows through, obviously, because the back's lower. And um, it just makes it look really cheap when you've got the inside of the fabric looking like that. I mean, you know, it's, it's actually not as cheap as you would think. So sizing-wise, I feel this is 
not great bearing in mind this is the same size as the two tops I've just shown you a 2XL why is it so much tighter around the bust and the actual neckline with the collar and the um, v-neck I quite like I like the length of the sleeves um, yeah I feel something that was more skimmy at the top and all the way down might have looked better but this one is very definitely not for me. Not Finally today we have a two-piece skirt and top outfit. Um, this is in like a jersey but quite a polyestery jersey with a bit of slip in it. Um, it is a 2XL again. Um, it consists of little top with faith written in sort of graphic writing down the, the front and then a sort of geometric print tube skirt for want of a better word with a tie at the front um, I quite like this style the sort of hopefully hopefully loose fit top with the tube skirt I very much like the skirt so I'm hoping that this will look nice it really depends on the fit of the top for me okay I know I wouldn't necessarily wear it with these shoes I've just popped them on to give me a little bit of height because the skirt is so long on me I probably because the skirt's elasticated I probably could turn it up a couple of times at the waist to um give me you know make it a little bit shorter I like the skirt it's very much a me type of skirt um I quite like the top um it's a little bit wide on the shoulders I have got this as I said earlier the best top underneath so that um it, you know that works quite well in terms of covering up my bra straps it's a little bit see-through as well I'd like this to be slightly better quality for the price than it is um but I don't, I don't hate it. It's very much not something that I, the pair of them together is not something that I would normally choose. It's a little bit, I don't know if I feel like it's a little bit young for me or um, with the graphic writing on the, te on the top. But um, yeah, it's not necessarily within my comfort zone, but I quite like it. I moderately like this one. I feel like it fits quite well. It's not overly baggy. It's... Um, yeah, it's, it, but it does skim over everything. It's just a little bit see-through. I'd like, because you can see the graphic print of the skirt all the way up there. And I would quite like a little bit more, a little bit less see-throughness, transparency, a little bit less transparency. Right, that brings us to the end. Just let me take these shoes off because they're uncomfortable. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now, now yeah, I'm too low down, aren't I? Um, thank you to Olivia Mark for sending the voucher to purchase the clothes. I think we've had some hits and some misses. I like the tops. I like the green top and I like the pink top. Um, the camouflage dress was awful. The striped jumper obviously didn't fit me. So there are issues within sizing again. We say this so many times, don't we? But um, definitely that would be a red flag for me. Um, I think Olivia Mark have given me a discount code. I'll pop all the info in the description box for you if you are interested go to have a look at the website and i think that's it for today thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye